To the other big story we've been following all day. Just a few hours ago, police carried out dozens of boxes in the first ever raid on the Catholic Diocese of Dallas. Five priests are under investigation for child sex abuse. Earlier this morning, officers showed up at three locations looking for evidence. St. Cecilia Church in Oak Cliff, a Catholic church warehouse on Ledbetter, and the headquarters of the Dallas Diocese. Jason Whiteley is here with us now. And Jason, why did they need a search warrant? There is a simple answer to that, Chris and Cynthia. Bottom line is Dallas police say the diocese was not fully cooperating. It withheld some files, and that forced detectives to go get a search warrant, go to the Dallas Catholic Diocese and go to the church and look for evidence there themselves. What happened Wednesday might just be the beginning. Sources tell us Dallas police methodically searched office by office at the Catholic Diocese of Dallas, shutting it down all day. We're looking for any documentation, any data uh, that uh, uh, would tend to, to, to further the investigation into these allegations of child abuse. A search warrant reveals two major developments now. First, police have opened felony investigations into these five priests accused of sexually assaulting children. The other significant headline, Dallas police saying the diocese is not fully cooperating. That's something that Bishop Edward Burns took exception to. Go ahead, search. If you really think that there's something more, then look. And if you want to look at it closer, then take it. Police say they wanted the names of every single priest with a sex abuse allegation, not just the 31 the diocese revealed in January. In the search warrant today, investigators wrote the Dallas Police Department has not been given even the number of priests files flagged for sexual abuse. Why not? Police say the diocese told them that information was privileged. The search warrant points out and states explicitly that it would like to see every single priest that's ever been flagged, not just the 31, but everybody else. Will the diocese release that information? We're going to cooperate with police. Tomorrow. Why hasn't it already then? Police say they've been asking for that information, but haven't been able to get it. Thank you, because I know that there is um, ongoing conversations with the Dallas Police Department. It's disturbing and disappointing, but it's not surprising. Police have interviewed Lacey Turley most after our story in January about this client of hers who said Father Timothy Hines groomed him for years as a teenager then took advantage of him as a young adult. When my client came forward in 2015, he was informed that his report of sexual abuse wouldn't ever be forwarded to the diocesan review board. That review board is supposed to alert the church, among other things, to problem priests, something the diocese says is working as police start looking for proof. Tonight, the diocese is defending its review board, saying it includes two local police chiefs, a clinical psychologist, and former federal investigators, people who would know what makes up a credible allegation of sexual assault. And there's a separate six-member investigative team that the bishop hired last year at the diocese to look through all kinds of issues at the church, not just financial problems, as Dallas police thought. But when police officers asked the diocese to identify members of both of those groups, the diocese refused. You should expect a lot more to come on this, Cynthia. And Jason, again, here are the five men named in that warrant. Edmundo Paredes, a former priest at St. Cecilia in Oak Cliff, is the only one charged. There's also Alejandro Buitrago, Jeremy Myers, Richard Brown, and Willem Hughes. Today's raid comes as the church wrestles with a fresh wave of scandals. In January, every Catholic diocese in Texas released the names of priests accused of sexually abusing children. It is a scandal that rocked the 8.5 million Catholics in our state. And tonight, Jobin Paniker asked if they still have faith.